crocheted pom-poms are great for children's clothing and accessories. A child cannot pull it apart and choke on the little pieces of yarn. Plus, they come out even every time with no fuss or wasted yarn. In this video, I'll show you how to crochet a fundamental pom-pom with emphasis on fun. At the end of this video, I will present variations for this fundamental pom-pom, including my famous peony pom-pom. So stay tuned. Choose a crochet hook appropriately sized for the yarn. I've selected my H hook for worsted weight yarn. Leaving a 12 inch yarn tail, make a slip knot and place it on the hook. Chain six, then slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. See how the yarn tail comes off the back end of our ring? Bring it forward between the hook and the feeder yarn and hold it against the ring. Later, I'll cover the reason we're doing this. But for now, chain 10. And then work a single crochet into the ring and at the same time enclosing the yarn tail under the single crochet. You have just formed a chain 10 loop. Now let's do it again. You're going to continue to do this about 40 more times. I always top out at about making about 40 to 45 loops. Smush the single crochets together around the ring every five or six loops to make more room as it will get crowded. When you can't fit any more single crochets into the ring, finish with a single crochet and cut your yarn leaving another 12 inch yarn tail and pull through the last stitch. Go back to the beginning yarn tail. This is like a magic string. Pull it and the ring will get tighter and tighter. That's the secret to quickly closing the ring. If you pull the yarn in and it will not move, that means you caught the yarn tail with one or more single crochets. No worries, just follow the next step and the ring will close. When you can't pull up any more, thread the beginning yarn tail into a yarn needle and insert the needle under the next three or four exposed single crochet stitches and pull the yarn through. You don't have to catch every stitch, just work around the stitches on the ring. Then pull up the yarn. Keep stitching around the ring, pulling the yarn every few stitches, and the ring will tighten up nicely. You may end up going around the ring a few times altogether. When the ring is closed, bring the yarn ends to one side. Tie a knot with the ending and beginning yarn tails to finish off the fundamental pom-pom. Leave the yarn ends in place so that you can later attach the pom-pom to a garment. Now give it a good fluff. All three of these pom-poms are identical with chain 10 loops. The brand of yarn may impact size slightly. The center green pom-pom is made from the softer Hobby Lobbies. I love this yarn, while the outer pom-poms are both made from the firmer Red Heart Super Saver yarn. The center pom-pom is also a fundamental chain 10 loop pom-pom. I just changed colors every 12 to 14 loops to create the tricolor effect. These pom-poms are also both chain 10 loop pom-poms. The difference is that the smaller marigold pom-pom is crocheted in sport weight yarn using an e-hook. Now let's
let's compare the chain 10 and the chain 12 loop pom-poms. They are both made from worsted weight yarn. Obviously, the chain 10 pom-pom is denser because the surface area is smaller. If you flatten out the larger pom-pom and combine the two pom-poms by pulling the ends of the smaller pom-pom through the center of the larger pom-pom, you get a much fuller and larger pom-pom, and it looks like a peony flower. For a more dramatic peony, take the pom-pom made out of sport weight yarn and pull the ends through the larger pom-pom. With the yarn tails, sew or tie the pom-poms together before attaching to a garment. Isn't that the cutest peony you ever did see? Have fun with your crocheted pom-poms, and as always, happy crocheting! I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click on my picture to subscribe, and you'll receive a notification when a new video is released.